Hello and welcome to episode 131 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode will be on making a huge tub as they are an excellent way to store liquids. In fact, when we're talking about liquids, um, a well is obviously the, the best item to make away from when you're away from water, uh, but to make the well, of course, you need to find a tile with water on it. So a tub is the next best way to store liquid um, because obviously you can place it anywhere. And well, let's continue on and tell you about the tub. A huge tub is a wide open wooden tub that can hold lots of liquid. To be exact, it can hold up to 2,250 kilograms of water. And that, my friends, is a lot of liquid. It can hold any liquid, so oil, milk, dye, wine, etc. You get the picture, all different types of liquids. Huge tubs can also be used to store items in as well. But you would be better off using a bulk storage bin as items will take damage. So you could store cotton in it, for example, but you'd be better off putting your cotton in a bulk in a BSB because then it won't take uh, so much damage. The huge tub can be planted, taken, and loaded into a wagon or a larger item. You can uh, pick the huge tub up while it's obviously empty and I oh, wait a minute. No, you can't I I was thinking of something else. No, sorry So just you need a wagon to load it into or something larger Making a huge tub uses the fine carpentry skill So if you're playing in worm online a huge tub can be extremely time-consuming to create at low fine carpentry skill resulting in many failures so if you're playing in worm online like I've uh, mentioned in previous episodes you'd be better off making loads of small barrels to improve your fine carpentry skill and once you got it up to a decent level then start making your your um, huge tubs. 18 kilograms of dye is needed to paint a huge tub for those of you out there that like having all different colors in your world. And I think the world's looking pretty beautiful at the moment in the uh, winter time. Winter is coming or winter's here. I'm going to use cedar as the wood to make my huge tub as as you all probably are aware by now, cedar rots slowly. I have decided to make my tub next to my forge, so it will be very useful here. And taking a look, yes, this area is looking like a big mess, I know, but it is a functional big mess. So I like having access to everything around me. Yeah, I probably could have done all of this in the house, but you know what, the forge I wanted next to the mine for when I mine the ores and I've sort of built everything else up around my forge um, because you need pretty much metal for just about everything including a huge tub. Okay, let's make a huge tub. The total materials needed are 25 planks and 4 iron ribbons. Okay, so let's bring up my pocket, my inventory. So you can see I've got 25 planks, four iron ribbons. Now, after I've made the huge tub, I'm then we're then gonna do a bit of improving on it. So the tools needed for improving your huge tub are your carpentry tools, your carving knife, your file, a, a pelt, a mallet, and of course, a log, which in this case, I've got a nice 51 quality log, why not? Logs are a plenty here, I've got loads. Okay then, so to get started, you need to activate an iron ribbon. I'll show you both ways. So you activate an iron ribbon and then right click on a plank, go to create, storage, and 
huge tub. Notice it's the lowest um, percent chance of making in this list. So you can see, like I said previously, this is going to be difficult. Uh, for those of you who play Worm Online, this is going to be very difficult. Um, but for us in Worm Unlimited, of course, it's just a case of spamming that uh, keys. Anyway, so that's the old school method of creating the uh, huge tub. But we're going to go new school because it's so wonderful, the crafting system in Worm absolutely love it so in here we will just type huge and there it is straight away and as you can see it's going to use the fine carpentry okay now I notice you're probably saying well there's a huge oil barrel we'll take a look at that in another episode don't worry about it and that'll be a good one okay so here's the huge tub I've got all of the materials in my pocket so what I'm going to do is right click the huge tub, add to the crafting window. Wow, and it's actually placed it in there for me so I don't have to worry about dropping in the items or tools. Okay, cool. So we can close that now. Right, so let's choose where I want to create it as close to my forge as possible. That way I can have the forge open and hopefully the huge tub open but I'm not sure how close it will let me make it because there is a lot of stuff around here but nothing on this tile which is what I'm hoping with my cunning plan so let's try and create oh bang there we go um, that's actually excellent because that's nice and close into my forge oh I like that that's perfect Right, okay, so now I need to, because it's unfinished, so now I'll right click on it, add to the crafting window, and now let's add the materials. So I'll get the iron ribbons done first. So whack this up to four and continue. And I did it on the first go, I didn't even think about that. I didn't get any failures, how wonderful. Right, okay, that's the iron ribbons done. Let's now do the planks. And I'll just keep it and continue. Because in Worm Unlimited, you're not as penalised, nowhere near as much as Worm Online. Worm Online, you couldn't do this because your stamina would all be gone. And it takes longer as well. Well, there we go. We have ourselves a large tub. For those of you worried about the fact that if I fill it with water isn't it going to spill all down the side, it don't work like that. So at an angle is absolutely fine. Right okay so let's right click on it and open it up and as you can see it's all empty. So how about first of all we're going to imp it up a bit, improve its quality. So let's take a look what quality is it at. It's at 24 quality. I'm sure we can do better than that. Now, I can't get across to you enough, and I probably haven't stressed this enough in the past, in previous episodes, but whenever you make something, um, especially for those of you not on Deeds, because as you know, when that big update pushes from Worm Online to Worm Unlimited, items won't rot on Deeds anymore apparently but for those of you that are not on deeds in worm online always make sure you improve as high as you can with your containers otherwise they are going to rot away quicker and if you filled one up with hundreds of items like a bsb or an fsb you're going to lose all your stuff so try to always improve imp up as much as you can so for this tub I need the log to start with so let's activate the log and use the two hotkeys I've got which is T for improve and R for repair and there we go okay what next so now I need to use a pelt so let's select that and then it up okay now on the mallet 
I'm going to settle for 30 quality level. I'm not, I'm not trying to go too high. Uh, carving knife. And pelt again. And now it's the file. Oh, I am on 30, but you know what? I'll just do the file once. Why not? I could actually get this quite easily to 50 quality level, but I don't want to waste uh, too much of your time. Okay, so there we go. 31 quality level. I do settle roughly on 30, I think, for all, most of my containers. Wow, that one definitely needs imping up. I think I'm going to have to go around and check all my containers because perhaps I haven't been that uh, rigid, but I want to get all my containers to at least 30 quality level. As you can see there, I do try to get them. Have I got the right one? Yeah, I do try to get them up to 30 at least. Right, okay, time to actually make this functional. Uh, what am I going to put in it? Well, next my forge, water. Of course, when I start a vineyard, which I am going to do, but that's another episode, and that will be a good one, uh, then I'm going to use a large tub for storing all my wine in it. Okay, so let's hop on this wagon. Now, I've already uh, got some barrels and cauldrons, just so I can demonstrate putting some water in. Uh, well, I want to fill it up anyway for when I do go into my next session of uh, smithing. Okay, let's open that up. Notice there was the option there to load, so I could load it onto my wagon, but I don't want to because it's positioned perfectly. Okay, so let's open my wagon now and start filling it with some water. Okay, I can probably put the log down, which will allow me to... Oh, I can't see. Right, okay, so let's put this in there. Actually, I wonder if I can just drop it from there. I think I can, so let's just do it from there. There you go. Okay, did I have any more? I think I did. Trouble is, where did I put them? Oh no, so, right. Okay, well, you get the picture. It stores 2,250 kilograms of water. So, I'm, st I'm just like, I'm not even a quarter, am I? So, it can f fill a ton of water you can put into this or a ton of uh, your chosen liquid you can put into this and there we are so I've got to spend some time now going back and forth to my well to fill this huge tub up and I can it it could even be a hot tub if I had a way of heating that water up especially now that it's winter time so you can make your own personal hot tubs anyway so there we go that's the huge tub for you. Excellent um, storage container and um, one that y'all should all be having and using for all your different liquids. Imagine filling one of them up with dye. How long is that going to take you, I wonder? Anyway, wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.